Hello guys and welcome to Tilt Vacuum Do Us Part. So today I'm sharing with you my fall 2020 home tour, but this one I'm gonna be doing a little bit differently. So normally I take you through my whole house and kind of just show you like my decor pieces and where things are from. So if you're wanting a home tour like that, I'm gonna link down some of my previous home tours, but today I'm gonna do one more on all my organization. I'm gonna show you inside my cabinets and drawers, refrigerator, all that fun stuff stuff I just always feel like these type of organizational videos are so fun to see and so helpful so you can get some ideas for your home so if you're new here I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button down below and now let's jump straight into this home tour Okay, so this is my living room. And like I said, you can watch other videos if you wanna know where everything's from. I'll also have it linked down below in my description box. But first I'm gonna show you inside these drawers. So here is drawer number one. As you can see, I've got clear bins in here. They're from Target, but this houses our remotes, all my essential oils, a candle, a flashlight. There's like cup holders. I do keep bottled water in here because my diffuser right here, um, I keep out and it's just easier when I'm in a hurry just to fill it up with water and grab an oil. And I just keep refilling these and I just feel like it's easier than unplugging this, taking it to the sink and plugging it back in. So that's just a little tip for you guys and then wherever I keep my candles I like to keep a lighter so I'm not running around so that is drawer number one okay I also wanted to show you these drawers I do keep a lot of blankets in here just so when we have company or we're hanging out as a family so three of these drawers are just blankets alone I'm a blanket hoarder and I'm okay with it so in this middle drawer, I like to keep like extra just towels, especially like our dog towels. So when we have to wipe off their feet or if they spill something or whatever, their water bowls, we can just grab them, they're right here. So I always keep that nice and full. And then down here are all our DVDs. We don't use them very much. So we finally just got rid of all the boxes and put them in a binder and it has been so helpful. And then in these middle two drawers, we just like to keep games. So if we're going to play a game, it's normally in here in the living room or in the dining room. So it's just kind of convenient to have them out in here. They're easy to grab if we have company. And then this last drawer right here is just kind of an extra drawer. These are DVDs we borrowed from my mom. So we know to return them when we're done. <laughs> This is just something Savannah uses for dance right now. And then I like to keep air, fresher, air fresheners just right here by the door. So if somebody comes and I don't have time to light a candle or put oils in, I can just grab one of these and spray the living room. Okay, so we are finished with the living room. As you can see, I don't keep a lot of things in here that hold clutter. Other than this little storage um, dresser, that is all. You're gonna learn quickly, the less you have, the less you're cleaning, the less you're organizing, the less you're decluttering. So it really is nice just to have less things in your home. It clears your head. So we are done with the living room, but now let's head on to my beauty room. Okay, so now we're in my beauty room. I'm gonna show you inside most of these drawers. Some of them are empty. I'll show you in some of my dresser. But first, let's start off with my vanity and you guys can kinda see how I keep my makeup and all my hair stuff and all my brushes. Here in my first drawer is clearly my makeup drawer. I like to just keep a few options out. Like I have a few different colors of things just because I'm in between seasons right now. So I'm kind of fading or my tan is. But I like to keep all my brushes and this is all like my foundations and primers and powders. This is like my lips and eyes and then this kind of goes into my eyes too and some tools. Um, but I like to just keep everything visual where I can see it. Not each thing has a spot but each basket. I know where everything belongs so as soon as I get done using it I know exactly where to put it so this is just like the center drawer and that's where I keep all my makeup I do have some overflow down here and I'll show that to you here in a second 
So in this drawer on the right is just kind of all my hair stuff. It's my sprays, my texture sprays, my hairspray, my brush, and clips. Um, so that one's super simple. Over here is mainly Savannah's drawer. She gets ready in here, and I also do her hair in here. So I like to just keep her, just her own separate space so that our stuff doesn't mix. And then down on the bottom two drawers, this is all my tools. So my hair dryer, my straightener, my curling wand. I do keep a t-shirt in here because I color my own hair. And so I use this t-shirt every time just so I don't keep messing up t-shirts. I just have like one old one. And then over here is like my overflow. So this is all extra makeup, extra products I bought up. So when it's time to trade out, I hate to keep a lot of makeup, but I also don't want to get rid of makeup. If I'm going to use it again, I don't want to have to rebuy it. So I have more brushes, more lipsticks. Um, this is like some powders. Back here, this stuff I use. It's my eyelashes, my sponges. So that is my vanity and how I organize it. But now we're going to move on to my desk. So for the most part, I've been organized. I'm an organized person. I like everything having a home. But I watched the home edit series and I just got carried away. I felt like I tried to level up my spaces and I tried to color code them. So you're going to see throughout the spaces where I have any color. We did the rainbow um, and I'm just loving the way it looks. So let me show you inside my desk now. Okay, I'm going to go through these one by one, but really quickly, just so you can see inside each drawer. I'm obsessed with like office supplies. They've always made me happy. So having them color coded, I just absolutely love. These bins are all from Walmart and you can get like a three pack for 98 cents. So I just love the way they fit in here. So that's the first one. The second one is just kind of some more stuff. It's tape, paper clips, staples, all of that. This one's a lot of my YouTube drawer, batteries, cords, memory sticks. <laughs> um, this one's all my thank you cards. So anytime I need to write a thank you card, I also keep birthday cards on hand just in case I need one last minute. And then this bottom, I'm not in here much. This is kind of overflow just for different devices we have. But these bins were from Walmart too. And I feel like they fit these Ikea drawers really well. Okay, now we're going to go down these drawers. This first one is just a lot of notepads because I write notes all the time. I can't show you in this one just because it has sponsorship stuff in it. Um, this one's just my overflow of notepads and then stickers for my planners that I like to do weekly. This one's pretty much empty. It's just got my lint roller. And then this one has all my extra bracelets. I don't wear these often, but I like to keep the color just in case I need to throw it on with this certain outfit. But at least they're all nice and organized but now that you've seen inside all these drawers obviously I'm going to take you into here I can't show you in all of them because some of them are like my intimates but I'll show you in a few of them okay I'm going to show you in all of them except the top it's just my panties and bras it is organized these are all my like yoga pants or leggings you guys can tell I have quite a few of the black but I love having those I wear them pretty much every day this is all my shorts. So I have like denim shorts, comfy shorts, athletic shorts, all the shorts. These are a few like workout tank tops, but for the most part, it's just shorts. And then over on this side, this is my pajama drawer, but these are my pajamas that have sets. So I'll show you in another one that doesn't have sets, but any of my pajama sets I like to keep together. So they're just all nice and organized. Now this is my pajama drawer, but these are just all my pants and there's some shorts in here. Can you guys tell I like black and gray? <laughs> and then down here, these are a lot of my like pajama tops that I sleep in. And then these are just t-shirts I wear out during the day. So that's basically my t-shirt drawer, but I do sleep in these as well. And now real quickly, I'm going to show you inside my bathroom. So here's underneath my sink. I think this is actually spun. <laughs> I normally have it like that. There we go, much prettier. So that's underneath my sink. And then in all of our sinks, we have these bottom drawers. So this is like my nail drawer. I've got all my nail polishes, all my fake nails, nail polish remover, all my different tools. Savannah stuff is mixed in here as well. I know you're seeing a lot of color, but that's just hers. And then over here on these three drawers, this is like my toothbrush. Savannah keeps her toothbrush in here, floss. All of that fun stuff. This is just a few more products I like to keep. It's like my sunless tanners, which I haven't used in a while. Things to clean my wedding ring, my Invisalign trays. And then this one down here should be empty. Yeah, that one has nothing in it. 
So just a friendly reminder, if you're new here, if you're not, you've heard me say this, but it is okay to have empty drawers. Like I think as humans, we think we have these big houses or all this storage that we need to fill it up. It is okay to have empty drawers. It's okay to fill them up too with stuff you love, but if there's stuff in there that's trash or you're not using or you haven't touched it in a while, get rid of that and just keep the empty space. It is so freeing. Try it out and let me know. <laughs> Now on to the laundry room. This one will be pretty quick just because there's not a lot of stuff in here. This first cabinet obviously is where I keep all my detergent and some of my cleaning supplies. You can see right here. Um, I do keep this upside down. I love the Sam's Club laundry softener. It smells amazing, but mine always leaks. I don't know if it's just me, but if I keep it this way, it's fine. And then I like to keep an extra hand towel down here just so if anything does leak, I can just throw it in the washer and then put a new one up. So that's just a little tip. I've had liners there, but then liners you just have to trash. I think towels work just a little bit easier and they're easier to switch out. And then this is basically my boys' cabinet. This is extra food, treats, bones, their heartworm medication. And then we have like first aid, like wraps and different things up there. Their leashes are in here and the dog camera's in there. So this is kind of just their space. And then up high, I also keep like extra paper towels. Um, I feel like they just get hit up there, but I can keep the overflow space. And then I'm gonna bring you down here slowly so I don't make you sick. <laughs> this is our junk drawer. I did recently clean this out. It tends to get really messy, so I spent some time on it, but it looks so much better. Basically, I just have like chapstick, scissors, pad and pin. I try to just keep things that when we're gonna run inside and like grab our keys or leave, it may be things we need. Um, or if we're doing a project, Chase is always looking for a tape measure or pen and pencil and paper. So I'm really liking how this turned out. And then this space down here, I call it basically the boys cabinet. So they have their whole bin of like different toys and clothes and all their stuff we wash them with. This is Tiger's food. I like to keep it right here just so we can scoop it out. And then I keep a trash can for my lint dryer. And these are all extra bags. So anytime I'm giving something away or somebody needs to take something home, they're all my reusable bags. And these are just, I like to keep these nice bags to just send with people. I hate getting rid of them. So that is my laundry room. It's nothing special. I do love having these big cabinets in here. I think they're super great for storage, so I can't complain about them. Plus having this one down here, I just feel like it's a really great setup. But now let's head down the hall and into my master bedroom. Okay, you're gonna notice in here, there's not much for me to show you. We don't have any dressers. This is a fireplace. In here's just blankets. I'm not gonna show you. I hoard a blankets and they're just rolled up in there. Um, I love having blankets around. I'll show you in my nightstand drawer. I haven't opened this in a while, so let's see what it looks like. It's pretty simple. I love this to put on my feet at night. Chapstick, I feel like I always need chapstick. This is some hand lotion. Things to listen to stuff, a few books. These are just like keepsakes. I keep all my notes in here. So just simple, I don't keep a lot in there, but I don't need a lot in there. But now I'm gonna take you into Chase's closet. You guys may have seen this. I've been working on this. This used to be my Monica closet, but I love how organized it stays now. Do you see this? We can walk in here. I color coded his shirts. If he was in here, he'd tell you I have a few dresses back here. <laughs> um, I keep just a few dresses in here to keep my space clear. Um, I always, always, always get comments about his hats. I love displaying them because I feel like guys just stack them and then they don't realize what they have and they don't wear all of them. This is just a free palette board with nails. We just bought a thing of nails. They are nothing fancy, hammering them in. And that is it. I feel like that's just such an easy DIY that you can do. And then my mother-in-law was following somebody that hung their pants like this. If I remember their name, I'll link it down below. 
but it's a way you hang them so you can see like this is really good for women because we have lots of like different designer jeans that we like to wear you can see like the designer so what brand they are or if you have different sizes you can see what size it is just because i know we fluctuate so that is his closet and i'll just show you a little bit of their bathroom i don't get ready in here but i'll just show you how the spaces look so this is the cabinet above the toilet in here I like to keep cleaners and I keep them up here versus below the sink otherwise he'll forget to clean. I kind of have him do his own space since I'm not in here much and if it's below the sink he won't think to do it but he opens this like every day to get a towel or something he needs so I just keep him in here eye level, tissues, washcloths, towels, and then of course as much toilet paper as we can find <laughs> but obviously they have more towels they're just dirty right now. Okay, I know this is gonna sound crazy if you're new here, but I always tell people that I like to keep a lot of stuff that you're gonna put on after the shower in the drawer so you don't have to like walk out in a towel or you don't have to remember to bring it in. But I like to keep like socks and even underwear and different like t-shirts in the drawers in the bathroom. I know it sounds crazy, but just try it. It is awesome. And so that's where Chase has his and these drawers. Okay, so now we're gonna head on over to the other side of the house. I am gonna show you like inside my kitchen and all my cabinets and my island, but I'm saving that for the end just because there's a lot in there. But let's head on into Chase's office now. So now we're walking into Chase's office. As you can see, once again, we don't have a lot of stuff out that I can show you. There's no like no dresser or anything in here. He honestly doesn't even have much in his desk yet. I need to work on it. I was gonna show you just kind of inside here because this is like our work closet where I keep a lot of stuff. Now granted, I can organize it better, but for now, even without all my fancy tubs and all of that, you can still keep things organized. So I just have a shoe rack um, with all my Cricut stuff on it. We have all of our shipping items right here. This is a lot of folders for information. This is a giveaway I have going over on Instagram. This is a bin just full of dividers, organizers. So as I'm working on spaces, I just have it ready to go. Um, these are some of the products I love. We even have like overflow up here. Um, of different oh I didn't even know I had those Lysol wipes that's very helpful <laughs> but I just like to keep this somewhat organized I would love it to look a little bit nicer one day but for now it functions I can see everything but I did just kind of want to show you inside like a working closet Now we're gonna head into Savannah's room. Over here, just so you can see this, this is just all American Girl doll stuff. So it's nightgowns, it's toys. I'm not gonna even go in there. Um, it's her space, but I did recently work on her closet. So if you missed it, I'm gonna show you kind of what we do and what works best for us with kids. I feel like kids' closets have to function a little bit different. So let me show you inside here. Okay, so first off, this is basically her dresser because instead of having a dresser out in her space, she wanted a dollhouse instead, which is totally fine with me. She loves this thing. So just so you know, um, that's like what holds all this. It's her nightgowns, underwear, socks, all of that. This is pants, shorts, and dance. I used to make her keep this folded nice and pretty, but that's just not smart for kids. As long as she keeps like all her pants in here, all of her shorts and all of her dance stuff, I just don't worry about it anymore. At least we know where to find it and it doesn't have to be visually pleasing. We did, however, color code all of her outfits and it's actually working better. She tends to wear the same outfit over and over, which is fine, I do too, but she forgets 
about all the fun clothes she has. So now she has to dig for those pieces because they're not just all hanging at the front together. So now while she's digging to find her favorites, she's finding new clothes. So I highly suggest this like color coding it has been really helpful for us. I also rainbow-fied her books, which is super fun. Um, it just makes reading a little bit more fun. And then for her shoes, I just had these shoe racks from Walmart forever. I also have a ton up in my attic. I use them for grad sales just to sp display shoes, and I always get a ton of comments on them. It just makes them where they can see them. They know what they have. We have extra hangers here. So this is her kid closet. We keep all her stuffed animals up at the top because she still loves having them. So this is what works for us and I'm super happy with it. So I have a whole video posted of me organizing this space if you wanna check it out. This was a disaster. It looks so much better now. So I color coded everything in here, her games, all of her paints. Basically in these bins, I went ahead and mixed crayons, markers, pens. So when she's coloring, she can get creative and just pick out a color. And then if she wants a marker or a crayon, she knows right where it is and she can change it up. Um, I also have like a Cricut machine. So I went ahead and labeled everything and I feel like it just levels it up. Um, I color coded her books right here. And then this is more my space. So I have extra crafting in there. Um, my stuff I don't need to see, but I feel like when it's kids items, if they can see it, they're more likely to use it. And then I also keep my gift wrapping bin up here. It's got extra bags and tissue paper and labels, anything I need to wrap a present. So this is this little space. Basically, this is my only closet outside of like our bedroom closets. We don't have a coat closet and this is our only hall closet. So I have to make it function really well. Now we're moving on to the guest bathroom. I like to keep this pretty stocked and clean for when guests come over. I just wanna make sure if they forgot something, now we haven't had a guest in a long time, but when they do come, I wanna make sure anything they forget we have, we have extra toothbrushes and mouthwash and toothpaste and nose spray, eye makeup remover. It's all that stuff that you use every day but sometimes you forget to get. Um, this is also just extra supplies that they might need if they forget their blow dryer or straightener, makeup remover, razors, primer, just all those goodies. Down here is just Savannah's swimsuit drawer. It just houses all her swimsuits. Um, here's this drawer again. This is just an overflow. So if somebody needs something and then down here, we don't keep a whole lot. It's just mainly like my cleaning supplies. And then lastly in this space is just hand towels, washcloths, extra towels, and once again, toilet paper. Just since it's a home tour, I wanted to show you this is like our little dining room or dining nook, but obviously there's nothing to show you because nothing can be organized in there. But now I'm gonna show you into our kitchen. I'm gonna go through this quickly. There is a lot, but I have, you know, island space, all the cabinets. So let me move um, pretty quickly in here just so you can kind of see how everything's set up. This is my little hidden space that's tucked <laughs> underneath the island so the chairs are normally pushed up there. I love this space. I feel like it's my cubby hole and nobody knows it's there. I can keep all this extra decor so when I wanna change something out, um, I'm not like digging for it. It's just right here. This used to be super messy, but the cleaner I keep it, it's just easier to find items when I'm like, oh, I need to decorate this space. I can just open this up and see what I have. And it goes back really deep. Like all of these, you can't even see stuff's further down. So I feel like this is a great space if you guys are designing a home and you can add this into your island. Like I said, you can't even really see it's there. And then your bar stools go in front of it. And so it's just kind of nice and tucked away. Now we're on the other side of the island. So I'll show you inside all of these drawers. This is just all my silverware and then Chase's like grilling utensils. 
I like to keep it right here because it's really close to our back door. And then this one's just all my straws and baggies and extra silverware. So if we're packing a lunch or something, I do like to take it out of the boxes. The boxes have so much color and they're so messy. And I just bought these Dollar Tree bins and it just looks so much cleaner and so much organized. Um, so that's how I keep this drawer. So now we're gonna move on to below them and they just open up and have drawers. I think that's such a great invention that the builder put in. So this is just like what I call Savannah's drawer. It's like her plates and cups for on the go. Um, this is like my party drawer. So it's paper plates. I have every holiday here that I've used. It's just all my leftovers. So if somebody's coming over quickly, I have birthday plates, 4th of July plates, Easter, all of them. Um, lots of extra napkins. Normally this is a full of um, plastic silverware, but I'm out. So I need to fill that up. But then you just close it and these shut. And I just love that. So I constantly get asked where I keep my canned food. So it's down here in this drawer. No, I don't have a pantry, but I use this space and another cabinet that I'm about to show you. But there is all my canned food. And then down here is like extra stuff. So bread, snacks, um, extra chips. So if they don't fit in my containers up here, this is like my extra stuff. I have buns back there. So these are the drawers that are in my island. And then I'll turn around and show you what I call my pantry. So this is the pantry, or as I like to call it. So you can see I use the clear storage containers. I really do think these are worth the investment. I wanna come in here one day and label these. I just haven't had the time yet, but I think it'll level it up even more. I just need to find the time and film a video and do it but I do feel like these containers really help because you get a lot of vertical space with them. Plus you can see exactly what you have, what you have a lot of, what you need to pick up at the store, what you don't need to pick up at the store. So I definitely suggest these containers. I know Dollar Tree even has some. You have to be careful because sometimes they don't keep air out as well, but I feel like they definitely are really nice to have. Okay, I went ahead and opened all the top cabinets to save time and I'm gonna take you through these real fast. That's just all my dishes. That's my china up at the top. Um, this is my spice cabinet right here along with items to like cook or bake with. This is mainly more china and serving dishes. I do keep our vitamins right here just because it's easily accessed. Right here's all my leftover containers. Obviously I'm missing a few somewhere in my refrigerator and dishwasher, I'm right here. And then over here is just all my cups and mugs. We don't drink here, but we keep this for like orange juice and milk just to seem fancy. But those are just all my cups. And now I'll take you down below. So in these drawers, I recently did in a video, but I forgot to show you guys. So I think these are functioning so much better. I got these containers from Target and I just love them. Over here is another drawer. I know this is a lot, but when I'm hosting, I just like to have whatever I need. And then if you guys wanna see me organize all of this, like I said, I have a lot of videos posted. Those are like all my small appliances. This is all like, my dish towels that I use like as hand towels just right by my sink. These are all my cleaning cloths that I color coded. I even have like my mop heads in here as well. And then this one's cutting boards and like oven mitts is all that one is. Down here is just like extra cleaning supplies. So all my jaws. Lots of different types of sponges. Apparently I have a thing for sponges. And then down here, of course, is cleaning supplies. So you guys recently saw this in a video. I did order this off Amazon for my pods, um, dishwashing pods, just to make it look prettier. And I love having that. And then over here, these two drawers, I had Chase turn into a trash can drawer. So that's just our trash can. And then this is what I call like a junk drawer, but it is organized. Savannah always works on this one for me. I love this battery organizer. It's in my Amazon store. And you can also test your batteries to see if they're bad. 
Um, so I think that's really cool. But here's just like extra tools, pins, flashlights, batteries, you name it, it's in there. Almost forgot to show you guys my refrigerator. This is one area I just don't keep that organized. So this is about as good as it gets. As you can see, things are leaning over. I'd love to have like a Pinterest worthy <laughs> refrigerator, but just like anybody else, we're in and out of this so much, it's hard to keep clean. So you can see it functions. This is like fruit, vegetables. This is like all of our meats and cheeses, our drinks. Um, This is normally dinners we're gonna be cooking, leftovers, kind of more drinks. You know, I have, I have ideas about it, like it kind of serves its function. I know where stuff goes, but it's definitely not like super visually pleasing. And then I'll show you inside. Everybody wanted to see inside my freezer. These um, like drawer freezers are just really hard. Like if you keep a lot, um, there is no function or rhyme or reason to this. Everything's thrown in. I love that it has these spots for pizza, but I definitely need to work on this. Maybe I'll make it a video working on my refrigerator. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see that. But that is definitely not organized. <laughs> Okay guys, that's a wrap. I think I showed you into every space that I can think of. I really hope today's video was like useful. I hope you learned some tips or tricks on just how to get better organized in your house. All of this can be done on a budget. This has nothing to do with money. This is about decluttering, only keeping the items you need and love in your home. If you do need organizers, um, Walmart is the cheapest place to go. They do like three packs for 98 cents. They have a little bit nicer ones at the Dollar Tree. Or of course, you can also order from Amazon, Target, all of those fun places. But it definitely just like freeze your mind and your soul. It's amazing what decluttering and organizing does for you. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button. Join my family. I do lots of cleaning, um, DIYs, obviously organization, and I'd love to have you here. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.